This is a headshot plugin tutorial. This is an updated method of how I create my characters. You are going to want to download Character Creator and the headshot plugin, which you can get both for a 30 day free trial if you can't afford it or you want to try it out. Be aware there is an export limit on the free trial, so make sure you make them count. Okay, so the first thing I began doing is by taking a photo of myself using my phone. I made sure to put flash on so it would remove any eyeshadows as these would otherwise affect the final texture. I also took the image into Photoshop to remove marks off my face that I didn't want to carry over to the character. You can always use Critter if you cannot afford Photoshop. I then resized it and saved it. Once I had the image, I went into Character Creator 3 where I had made sure the Hedgehog plugin was installed. I dragged and dropped my image in after making sure it was on Pro. Auto would do it automatically but can give you quite weird results so I recommend doing Pro. So once I had dragged the image in, I selected Mail, Clean Soft and then Generate. I ticked Activate Image Matching Tools to lock the camera in a front facing view and began making changes. To do this you want to begin by going to the Morphs tab in the Modify window. I would recommend using the Headshot Morphs. I then began on the head, then continued down the list. I made sure not to do any morphs that would affect the side view of the character as we would do this after doing the front view. After making a few changes, I would reproject the face to correct the textures and to see how close I am getting. One thing to note is that I'm changing the opacity of the image so I can compare it to any changes I do end up making. Once I was happy with how it looked from the front, I reprojected the texture for the last time. The next step was to take a photo of the side of my head. I then took it into Photoshop and fit it into a 1024 pixel by 1024 pixel frame otherwise it wouldn't work well for this next step. Back in Character Creator 3, you want to go into the Content window, then Stage Element. Once in Stage Element, go into the Camera file and choose the reference camera that fits the side of the image of your head. Then go into Props, Headshot and select the same reference so that the image works properly with the camera view. Now we have the image, we want to go into the Materials and change the image with the picture of the side of our head. You will then want to make some slight adjustments to the position of the image so that it lines up with your model and it is rotated correctly. Now you can change the more sliders for the side of your head. To change the opacity of the image, you will have to make sure it's selected and change it in the materials tab. Now that's done, we need to make sure that when our character's eyes are closed, the texture looks good. So what we want to do is go to attributes in the modify window, then press this eye icon to close them. Then go to the bottom of the Headshot plugin window and under Eyelid Mask, change it to Minimum or Medium Upper Eye Fill. Now we can make the changes to the rest of the body and can also make changes to the teeth. Finally, you can add hair to your character. So I added some eyebrows and hair on the top of my head. If you would like more hair options, you can buy some more on Character Creators Marketplace or make it in Blender or Maya. Consider subscribing if you found the video useful.